Magulat ko din. Aki yung nasi We are here today in the City Hall inside the Mayor's office to interview the Mayor of Butuan City and the author and pioneer of the Clean Ground Zero Waste Program in which the Echo Cyber Patrol is showcasing for this year's International School Cyber Fair. Mayor Ferdinand June Amanda Jr. Good morning, sir. Hi, good morning, Aimee. Good morning, uh, partners for a clean Butuan. So, sir, our first, first question for you is, in retrospect, what is the Clean Ground Zero Waste Program and what did you envision it to be? Well, the Clean Ground Zero Waste, um, it was built as such because of the key word uh, ground zero, uh, which means we have to start from, we'll, we'll go back to the basic. And for, for everyone to remember, uh, this advocacy, we made it, to fall on September 11. It was, if you remember, the collapse of the Twin Towers. It was the day that changed America. It was the day that changed the whole world. Yes. It will also be the day that will change but one from uh, what we were before to a cleaner but one. So it's clean ground, zero waste. The vision of this advocacy is to reduce the amount of garbage right at the household level. Mm -hmm. Because reducing the garbage, it will not amount to uh, converting it to cash, like the um, for organic fertilizers and the recyclables which can be sold, leaving only a 20% residual for our garbage collectors to collect. Meaning, uh, in that way, aside from what we gain as cash, the reduction of the amount of garbage will mean reduction in the number of trips, reduction in the fuel consumption, and um, it has a multiplier effect as far as uh, conserving the funds of the city government. So, so far, sir, where all the goals that you have envisioned before were met since the formal launching of the Clean Ground Zero? It's a, I mean, it's a long process. I would say we are not yet uh, where we should be, but we have already gained uh, headway uh, to start uh, this advocacy. The most difficult part is the education. I agree, sir. And uh, you, you agree with me, so that's why I think one of your advocacies is also how to instill this into the minds and hearts of our people. So, sir, regarding the background of the, of the program, why have you decided to heed this problem among the many other problems that Butuan is facing. Okay, it's, they say, we can never dream of a progressive city or society if we cannot manage our garbage. So don't, don't dream of the skyscrapers and the, uh, what you call this, the super highways, if you cannot even manage one of the basic needs, problems of the city, which is sanitation. So are the existing laws, sir, addressing this waste disposal problem? Yeah, there are ordinances. In fact, um, there's a national law, which we have also, um, we have also local ordinances to support uh, this uh, advocacy on cleanliness. So, sir, uh, my companion here, another member of our site club, has a question for me. Sir, in, uh, in doing this project, what are the problems or the hindrances that you faced and what are the solutions that you've made up for that problem? The first and I think the biggest problem is the attitude the of the people. Uh, the second perhaps will be the, the, the financial aspect. But I would like to, to zero in on the attitude. Um, 
we Filipinos are fond of shortcuts. Yes. I like uh, yes. if you have a piece of paper here, to throw it in one basket is very easy. But to think of where to put this in the recyclables, in the uh, malata or malata, will take some time. And most of us don't, don't, don't have the time to, to think. That's why I think uh, the biggest stumbling block is the attitude. The, uh, the solution there is education. And I think uh, we have started. In fact, um, I think the mere fact that uh, you, the young generation, has already captured that vision for me, I think, is a beachhead advantage on my part because um, you now will help me remind your parents uh, how, how this thing should be done. So personally, sir, what actions have you done in order to promote or implement the Clean Town Zero Waste Program? In Butuan City, we have divided this into 13 clusters. We have the city hall, the government offices, hospitals, hotels and restaurants, the city streets, schools, the church, including the airwaves. We have covered all of the 13 uh, clusters in, in the, and then we have assigned a chairman for every cluster doing education campaign. Uh, that was the, the first step. The second step, of course, was to uh, propose for a plan and then the financial requirement. Okay, so for our last question, sirs, this is for our viewers. What do you see in the future with this, with this program? What do you see? For Butuan? Yes. Uh, clean Butuan. Where uh, everyone will be free from diseases. A cleaner Butuan where all of us will feel proud. And a clean Butuan will, which will make uh, us Butuan the model city for everyone to be inspired and to copy. As investors come in, um, though we don't have tall buildings and skyscrapers <laughs> and uh, overpass, but I think one of the first things that you'll notice is uh, just like Palawan, no? it's a very clean uh, uh, surroundings, clean streets, clean canals, you don't see garbage. And uh, you'll see happy faces, smiling. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much. Uh, please help me in my in our advocacy. And uh, now you'll be the agents of change. Uh, it's still pos it's, it's still possible to make our city very clean. There you have it, viewers. Mayor Ferdinand Junamante Jr., the author and pioneer of the Clean Ground Zero Waste Program.